living with purpose, finding peace within yourself, living a meaningful life full of opportunities where you can grow as a personality is a luxury not every one of us can dive into these days. Are you doing something what you love? What the world needs? Something what you are good at and can be paid? Once I've discovered Tikigai, I didn't want to let it go. Tikigai is a Japanese concept that means the reason for being. According to Japanese culture, everyone has it. Finding your Tikigai doesn't require any specific skill, but you have to learn to be honest with yourself, start to embrace who you truly are, and have time to listen to what your inner self is trying to say. First, draw four same side circles. Here I'm bringing a candle to make it cozy. The circles should overlap on each other. I use the compass divider to make it neat and nice this time, but there's no rule, you can draw simply by hand. In four little areas where circles meet, write passion, mission, profession and vocation. Then add the first question to one of the actual circles. What I'm good at? Put anything that comes to your mind at that time. Try to remember everything what feels nearly effortless to you, something you can get up and do good easily. Second question is what I love. Put every activity what you love doing, even if it's drinking coffee or sleeping until noon. Next, ask yourself what the world needs. Put into words everything what comes to your mind. Try to write as many things as possible. Be specific. Of course, there are a lot of issues in the world, but trust your own intuition, something you truly care about. Don't put anything just because you think others would. Put problems that are important to you and what, in your opinion, the world needs. This way you will see what a meaningful life means to you. Last question is, what I can be paid for? List the things you are or previously were being paid for. Think about what you're good at and perhaps could teach other people. You can also put things you potentially can be paid, although it can't happen straight away. Check every question and fill in the gaps if there's something you have to add. That's it, you almost did it all. Now carefully look to the page you've just created for yourself and let it do the magic. What do you notice? Do you see any similar activities repeated in each of the section? Circle walls. Look for keywords, but not necessarily. It could be synonyms or even random things that doesn't seem relative connections, but after a few moments you find a way to find pairs that make sense and actually could connect to each other. Ideally, aim to find the same thing in each circle. Try to evaluate your choices. Identify why you put that thing in that particular list. Even inconsiderable details were written there by you for a reason. Take it slow, don't rush to find the answer straight away. Eventually, you will. I'm fascinated by the Ikigai simplicity. It's so simple yet so beneficial. Doing what you love is not enough if you don't truly believe it is something what the world needs, it's not something what you're good at and can be paid. Once you identify your Ikigai, you know what would make your life meaningful. And even if you decide you're not ready for big changes in your life right now, at least you can try to give a special place for the listed activities and incorporate things you love and care about in your everyday life. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!